Ladies and gentlemen, producer David Risotto has produced a film, Dummy Hoy, a deaf hero documenting the life of deaf baseball player Dummy Hoy, which was included in the film festival at the Hall of Fame earlier this month. Please direct your attention to Fanavision for a video clip highlighting this film and Dummy Hoy. Hi everybody and welcome to Deaf Awareness Night. I'd like to introduce you to a very special baseball player, William Dummy Hoy. He stood only five foot four and weighed 145 pounds, but on the baseball field, he was larger than life. He hit 288 during his 14 major league seasons, hit 300 three times during his career, scored 100 runs eight times, and produced a 400 on base percentage four times. He set rookie records for games, at-bats, singles, walks, and was considered a flyhawk in his time. He dazzled fans with his uncanny speed and stole 82 bases in his rookie year, with a career high of 597 steals, which still ranks high today. His arm was a powerful cannon. In one game, he threw out three runners at home plate from center field without an assist, also a record that stands today. Some say he brought in hand signals to the game of baseball, but others are credited with it and have a plaque in the Hall of Fame. Over his 14-year baseball career, he made thousands of fans cheer, but never heard one. We hope you'll take some time and learn more about the career of Dummy Hoy. One day, perhaps his accomplishments will be recognized by the Baseball Hall of Fame at Cooperstown. Thanks a lot, everyone, and for all my friends in the deaf community, I'd like Ryan Howard to show you the universal sign for love. Ladies and gentlemen, William Ellsworth Dummy Hoy has been included in a list of potential inductees into the Cooperstown Baseball Hall of Fame. An interesting fact about Dummy Hoy, he was the one responsible for umpires giving hand signals for a ball or strike. Dummy would be up at bat and he couldn't hear and he couldn't talk, so he'd look around at the umpire to see what the pitch was, a ball or a strike. And that's where the hand signs for umpires calling balls and strikes began. The deaf community is excited at the potential to have one of their own inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Saturday will also be a special day here at Citizens Bank Park. Right now we have a look at what's planned and why it's so meaningful. Next Saturday, the Phillies will celebrate Deaf Awareness Night, a 24-year-old tradition that dates back to Veterans Stadium. This year's festivities will feature a special tribute as the Phillies recognize the career of William Dummy Hoy, a turn-of-the-century ball player who many feel should be in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Dummy Hoy played in the majors for 14 years, gathering over 2,000 hits and stealing more than 600 bases. He was considered one of the best center fielders of his day, having once thrown out three runners at home plate in a single game. He was credited with bringing the hand signals used by umpires into the modern game. He played the game of baseball at the highest level, despite having a handicap that few could imagine. He stood only five foot four and weighed 145 pounds. But on the baseball field, he was larger than life. Over his 14-year baseball career, he made thousands of fans cheer, but never heard one. A scene from the recently released DVD docudrama reflects the emotions of the young William Hoy as he chose his path in life. Look at me, Pa. I'm small and I am deaf. No one is going to take me seriously unless I show them what I can do. I'm good at baseball. I know you and Ma want to protect me, but I don't want to hide behind you and have people laugh at us and call us names. I want you to be proud of me and to tell everyone, there goes my son. Look at him play ball. One person who knows the difficulties that Dummy Hoy had to endure is outfielder Curtis Pride, the first deaf player in the modern era. 
After an 11-year career with seven different teams, Curtis is now finishing out his playing days in the independent leagues. Earlier this summer, we caught up with Curtis at Campbell's Field in Camden. I've been playing the big league for almost 11 years. So it's up and down between AAA and the big league. And I've been a great experience, and it's not easy. I mean, it has to be easy at the top. I've always loved the game. You know, it's, it's a great sport, and um, I enjoy watching the baseball. Carol Finkel, a longtime advocate for deaf rights, spoke to Curtis about Dummy Hoy. There is a, a deaf ball player from the early 1900s. <coughs> Are you, do you know him? Oh, yes, I know who you're oh, talking about. You know. Yeah, we were Dummy Hoy. Dummy yeah. Hoy. And so you know he's one of the greatest baseball players in history. Yes, and unfortunately it's not the Hall of Fame. Right. Yeah, so I'm hoping he'd be inducted because he's he really changed the game a lot in many ways because of the communication. No, he, that he was the one that started the call ball to drink. And uh, but when you look at his numbers compared to a lot of the Hall of Famers numbers, the lot of identical. Right. And he determined to be in the Hall of Fame. Yep. So our real goal beyond Dummy Hoy is just that deaf Americans and hearing Americans need to be equal. I agree. And that means focus on communication, right? Yes, I agree. Be between us, period. Philly season ticket holder Chris Gigliotti is a lifelong baseball fan. Behind the Pinstripes recently found Chris here at the ballpark and signed with him about being a deaf Phillies fan. I love Citizens Bank Park. It's the best place here. It's better than all the other places. It's better than Baltimore, Washington, D.C. I really love it oh, here. Okay, but, uh, I call it my second yeah. home. I see the screen out in center field, and I see all the names listed. So I keep my eye on that as well as the game. And I try my best without having interpreter services. Chris also has strong feelings about Dummy Hoy. Dummy was the first one to become a pro player that was also deaf, and I congratulate him for that. I'm very proud of him. I mean, the deaf power, way to go. It's hopeful that in the near future, Cooperstown will recognize the accomplishments of William Dummy Hoy, a deaf pioneer who helped shine the light on this invisible minority. And to learn more about Dummy Hoy, log on to www.insightcinema.org backslash dummyhoy.html. You can see it there on your screen. You saw Curtis Pride in our story. We also encourage you to check out Curtis's website. That's www.togetherwithpride.org.